Today we're making curry here on Chef Andy. I am so excited to make this recipe. It has been requested for a very long time. Technically, I believe this recipe is called Major Gray. At least that's what it was called at the restaurant that I used to go to. And I actually took a cooking class there in the restaurant and they taught me their secret Major Gray recipe. If you own a restaurant, don't do that because uh, then everybody can make it at home. <laughs> also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so. Join our food movement. We post videos every single day on the channel, so slap a big like. Let's start the recipe. <laughs> this recipe could date back to over 500 BC when they first started making chutney. And we're gonna be using a mango chutney. But before we get into the mangoes, let's get into the onions. So we're gonna take a beautiful red onion. I'm gonna cut this in half. And then we're gonna slice this up and we're gonna mince it into nice small pieces, just like so. Onions are nice and chopped up, so now I'm gonna get a pan and I'm gonna turn this on to medium, okay? Once I've got my pan to medium, I'm gonna take a tablespoon of olive oil, just your extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm gonna take a tablespoon of butter. And when you have butter and olive oil, you can cook at higher temperatures with the butter. Great, so once your olive oil and butter are nice and melted down, we're gonna add our chopped red onions and just slide those in there. And we're gonna get these nice and sauteed. Sauteed meaning translucent with a little brown tint to them. We're gonna be using two whole chicken breasts. So I'm gonna take my beautiful chicken, I'm just gonna cut off this little side right here, and I'm gonna cut it down the middle of the breast. Now, once I've cut the breast in half, I'm just gonna cut this chicken into nice little chunks. Our chicken is ready, it's nice and chopped up, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna go put it in with our onions. You're just gonna dump in the chicken, and we're gonna stir this around. All right, now our chicken is added and it's mixed in with those beautiful caramelized onions. We're gonna take a pinch of salt, Throw that right on it, just to enhance the flavor. Remember, salt enhances all flavors. And we're gonna let this chicken cook and we'll know that it's finished when it just starts oozing out those beautiful juices. And then we'll add our next ingredient. Chicken is looking delicious. So now it's time to add three tablespoons of our curry powder. And just look at the color on that. It is just incredible. We're gonna sprinkle that in. One, two, and trace, as well as we're gonna take some mango chutney. This stuff is incredible. I'm gonna use a half a jar, so this is about, I'd say three to four tablespoons. Chutney has been around since 500 BC. Started in India, baby. It's beautiful, come on. Okay, so we're gonna mix this all around together. I don't know a single person that does not love this recipe. It just tastes so good. Now we're gonna take about a cup of heavy whipping cream, we're just gonna melt that right into our sauce. Wow, look at the colors on this, this is incredible. The whole Indian culture is just so colorful. I went to this amazing event called Holly. It's where they, they throw all these different colors in the air. It was amazing, it was so much fun. And it's the beginning of spring, and I, I think it means like love and peace. I don't know, I just, I just love Indian people. They're amazing people. Wow, this just looks incredible, but we are not done yet. We're gonna spice up our life a little bit. So I have a jalapeno pepper that I've chopped up very finely, but make sure if you don't want too much heat to take out those seeds and those stems, the veins that run within the pepper. It's the white part. So I've scooped that out with a spoon. I've chopped it up very nice and finely, and I've taken only a half of that jalapeno because I don't want too much heat, just want just enough. So I'm just gonna dump this jalapeno right inside my major gray. I'm gonna stir that around inside there and boom, our sauce is ready. So we need to start cooking our beautiful rice. Three cups of water in a nice pan like so. We're gonna dump that right in there. Now we're gonna add our beautiful yellow curry powder and we're gonna put in a tablespoon. Mix that around, and we're gonna take a nice pinch of salt, throw that in, mix that around. Then we're gonna take a nice tablespoon of butter. Let that melt in, and once it's melted and it's come to a boil, then we're gonna add our beautiful rice. All right, our curry water has come to a boil, so now I'm gonna add 
two cups of fresh brown rice. We're gonna stir this brown rice around. We're gonna put this lid on. We're gonna turn our oven down to a nice simmer and we're gonna let that sit for 45 minutes and then we're gonna put everything together. I almost forgot, while our rice is cooking, we're gonna take our red cabbage and I'm just gonna take my knife and finely cut this cabbage. Just some nice little thin pieces. Not only is this gonna bring a lot of beautiful color to the dish, but it's also super healthy and gonna give it that beautiful crunch. So again, taking the cabbage, just a half a cabbage, and I'm gonna thinly just graze it into nice little strips. The thinner the better on this cabbage and you can already see the color, that beautiful purple is just gonna make this whole dish pop. It's been 45 minutes, let's go check our rice. Okay, wow, this looks incredible. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little pinch of it. Cooked perfectly. Now, let's plate our dish. So I like to take the rice and I like to just put this as the base on our plate. So I'm just gonna put about a couple of scoops and then we're gonna take our beautiful Major Gray curry and I'm just gonna drizzle that right on top, wow. All right, we have our rice, we have our chicken. This is looking amazing, but now it's time for the final touch. And that final touch is our red cabbage. Doesn't this look delicious and vibrant? And this is just gonna make this whole dish pop. Look at the color contrast with the yellow and the purple. <whistles> Come on, bella roba di bono. Okay, salute to everyone out there, all my Indian friends. This is amazing, wow. This is truly a remarkable dish. One of my favorites that I've, I've cooked on the show. I don't even know really how to describe this completely. It's, it's got sweetness, savory. It's got a little spice to it, not too much. Beautiful colors, all around an amazing dish. Shout out to all my Indian friends. I hope I did you proud. And if you haven't subscribed to our food movement, make sure to do so. Slap a like on the video, and I'll see you next time in the kitchen. Ciao, belly. Oh,